Hello everyone. Let's provide a solution to this problem very quickly. We have x plus y equals 10. And then we have um, x, y equals 100. This right here is our equation 1. And this is uh, equation 2. Okay, so to provide the solution, we are going to have an equation 3. Okay, and that will come from our equation 1. So that x from equation 1 will be equal to 10 minus y. So we we'll now call this our equation 3. Now, the next thing is to put this equation 3 into equation 2. So, in place of this x, I'm going to write this, which is 10 minus y. Then, this will multiply y there, and then we have 100 here. Now, let's open the brackets so that we have y times 10, which will be 10y. Then, y times y, that will be y squared. And is equal to 100. Now let's write the one with the highest power first, and that is y squared. So I'll write y squared, but it is negative. Then we have plus 10y, and this, this will come here to become minus 100, and everything is equal to zero. Okay, so we will now proceed. We want to remove this negative from here, so we'll multiply everything by negative 1. We have y squared. This will turn to negative 10y. This will turn to positive 100. Then we have 0. Okay, so right here, we have um, a quadratic equation, and we are going to solve this using the formula method right okay so the formula is y equals minus b plus or minus we have square root of b squared minus 4ac everything is over 2 times a so now what we'll do is to get our a b c our a is 1 b is minus 10 c is um, 100 so i'm going to put all of this into this directly so y will now be in place of minus b we're going to write 10 because negative negative will give positive then we have plus or minus we open this um the square root sign b squared is going to be minus 1 uh, minus 10 squared and that will give us 100 then minus we have 4 times a times c a is 1 and c is 100 so we have 4 times 100 and 4 times 100 is giving us 400 so this will now be over okay we have 2 times 1 and that will give 2 so if we continue from here now, our y will be 10 plus or minus square root of 100 minus 400 is negative 300. So we are still dividing this by 2. But I can pick out the negative from um, the root. So we have y equals 10 plus or minus. Then we have square root of 300 right then multiply by the square root of negative one remember by dividing everything by two now we can break it down so we get y again to be equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 300 is 100 times 3 then multiply by square root of negative 1. Okay, I believe everything is visible enough. So we have this. 
then we are dividing the whole of this by 2 as well so to break this down we will now have y to be equal to 10 plus or minus square root of 100 is 10 so we have 10 root 3 then multiply by square root of negative 1 is i okay so we divide the whole of this by 2 now remember that this i can multiply 10 so we have 10 i right here so our y now is equal to um we have 10 plus okay plus or minus we have 10 i then we have root 3 as we divide all through by 2 to continue our y will be 2 can go here so we have 5 plus or minus the same 2 will go here we have 5i then we have root 3 so this is the value of y but it's a 2 in 1 value this means that y is equal to 5 plus 5i root 3 or um, 5 minus 5i root 3 okay so these are the two values of y but then we are expected to get the values of x as well so let's go back to our equation 3 okay so this right here is our equation um, 3 this is the equation 3 that we had before but now this is the value of x um y that we want to use to get the value of x remember the other value of y had negative so now our x will be 10 minus open bracket in place of y now i'll write 5 plus 5i then we have root 3 this is for the y so our x right our x will be very quickly okay 10 minus 5 negative will open this so we get negative 5 i then root 3 right so if we continue 10 minus 5 is 5 so our x will be 5 minus 5 i root 3 so this is the value of x and y at this point okay this is the value of x while the one at the top is the value of um, y but then let's go we still have another value of y so when y okay so when our y is equal to 5 minus 5 i root 3 what will be the value of x so our x at this point will be equal to 10 minus open brackets this is y so we have 5 minus 5 i root 3 okay so this is what we have so our x will now be 10 minus 5 plus 5 i root 3 what i did is to open the bracket with um the negative sign so our x will now be 10 10 minus 5 is 5 so we write 5 then plus 5 i root 3 okay so this is the value of x and y at this um, point this is the value of x and that is the value of y so we have solved this completely thank you for watching